This morning I was reading in John chapter 21 and in that chapter we see Jesus appearing to the disciples on the shores of the Lake Galilee <coughs> and they have the splendid catch of 153 fish. But in that whole incident we see Jesus restoring Peter just as he denied Jesus three times so Jesus gives him three opportunities to reaffirm um, his discipleship. And Jesus doesn't just forgive him, he recommissions him. He sends him back out as a pastor to the church. And that's the wonderful thing, that, that when, when we've messed up, when we've done things wrong, Jesus doesn't just forgive us. He wants to put us back so that we can continue to be effective and functional and doing his will. He doesn't just cast us aside or just say, well, you've messed up now and that's it. He actually puts us back so that we can be effective and fruitful for him. In some ways, I was also thinking about the, the lockdown in this, this respect. In this time, we've lost time. And yet there is a time coming when, when God will restore all that we've been, that's been lost, whether it's our time or our effectiveness or our ministry. And, and that's the wonderful thing. We know that we have hope that at the end, other end of this, that, that God will restore and he will bless and he will continue to make us to be effective and fruitful because that's what he's called us to be. So today, know that God's restoration is coming in all that that means and in fullness. God bless you.